joining us on an unusual uh, Thursday night crossover. Um, what's going on, Josh? Oh, uh, I think we have some big news today. It's been a, it's been a busy day, man. Just uh, enjoying it and, um, you know, ready to get going. Yeah, definitely. So the real crossover is still happening tomorrow night. Um, that is at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific. So we'll still be obviously running that show normal and as planned. And I'll be collecting questions tomorrow. So for those who are new to this show, uh, we just answer questions for about two hours every Friday night. So if you'd like to submit a question, just make sure you're following Josh or myself and send it over tomorrow. Once you see the post go up advertising the crossover Friday night. Uh, all right, Josh, you, you messaged me. You said there was something you wanted to say at the beginning of the show. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say, you know, thanks to everyone who's supported us since we launched Card Ladder. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of close friends in this community. And, uh, you know, I'll speak for both of us. We're, we're both very appreciative of everybody um, helping us along the way, giving us, you know, tips, helping us with the app, giving us feedback, uh, finding, you know, sales data that we missed or that we overlooked or just anything. It's, there's been tons of that. And, uh, you know, it takes it takes more than just us to kind of get us to where we are today. So, you know, I just wanted to give a shout out to, to all of our supporters, the people who watch Crossover, people that uh, s submit us questions. Um, there's just so much, you know, there's so many people. So just wanted to give a couple minutes before we dive in and, and give that little shout out to everybody. I completely agree with that. That was, that was perfectly stated. Um, really love and appreciate this this community. Okay, let me bring in our guest. What's up, guys? What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. I'm in my car. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Sure. appreciate you joining sure. us. I'm in a parking lot somewhere in California. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, congrats, guys. Welcome to the team. Yes, sir. To you as well, sir. Uh, we're real excited. We just we gave a little shout out to everyone that's been supporting us and uh, you know thanking everyone. So that's that's where we're at so far. How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah, I, I yeah I have a little uh, cracked rib. <laughs> According, to, I'm in the a parking lot waiting to get some uh, painkillers at CVS. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm all right. I just can't move. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we won't drag this out, Matt. Uh, don't no, laugh no, too no. hard or anything. I imagine that might hurt. No, I just can't sneeze uh, that's, or cough. That's 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 kind of how it happened a little bit. But, yeah. My goodness. Okay. Well, well you, were playing the right, you were playing the right sport. That's that's our sport here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no right doubt. Set so, the room, Chris. Uh, Let's let's just uh, real quick, because um, in addition to having the announcement today, we released two new features uh, to the Card Ladder platform. And Josh, maybe you want to just kind of mention both of those real quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go pretty quick. So we launched two new features. Um, the first being what we're calling sales history. And basically, if your card is not in the ladder or you want to do a quick search on any of our sales in our database, we have over 23 mil million sales that we're tracking. And you can quickly go to sales history over on the nav, search any card. And then if you click on a card, another cool thing, if you find the sale, you click on it, it will actually use the player index modeling for pricing and give you an estimate on the current value relative to the date that it's sold uh, and relative to the player index so I think that's going to be, you know, probably one of our more used features going forward. It's kind of like the, you know, the big main search, you know, for all past sales. And then the other thing is we beefed up shop. Um, so currently you could, you can only, or previously today, you can only search eBay ending soon. And we've since added a few more platforms. Uh, we've added Heritage, MySlabs, and then PWCC Monthly and Premier. So if you want to search, like right now, PWCC just put their monthlies up. 
And so you can search all of the monthly auctions on PWCC. Our search is, uh, you know, we're using like the exclusion search. We have all the eBay power of, of how you can search. So that makes it pretty sweet. And then we're going to be coming out with new features for that, like watch list and alerts and things like that. So quick little overview of those two things. Yeah, those are maybe two of the best features we've ever released. So just a, a great day overall in card ladder world. So Nat, um, I've seen a couple of people in the chat ask, and I've had a lot of people ask me, what, what's the future? Uh, what does the future hold for card ladder at Collector's Universe? If, if, to, to the extent that we can discuss that. No, of course. Yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we're committed to agnostic uh, pricing transparency just to help with liquidity of the whole card market. Um, yeah, I think most people who follow my collection probably know. I mean, I actually have more BGF slabs than I do PSA slabs. And so I, I care about pricing for, for multiple grading companies. This is not just about PSA. Um, you know, we want to have, uh, I would say, you know, collector friendly tools, uh, which may or may not mean, you know, a PSA slab and that's all good. Um, a good example is actually your new feature you just launched with browsing. Uh, we get a lot of feedback. I'll give you an example. So if you're doing a set in set registry on PSA and you need a certain card or cards to complete a set, you know, right now we don't do a great job of helping you find, you know, where you could buy that card. You know, we, we don't care where the card is. We just want to help the person find it. It doesn't matter if it's on eBay, PWCC, Alt, uh, Golden, whatever. You know, we want we just want to help that person find the card. And so that's a good example. Um, but the future is we're going to integrate it uh, across the ecosystem. So, and you guys know that. So we're going to uh, hopefully allow collectors who use our system, as example, the set registry, uh, another example could be if you, uh, you know, want to sell your card, uh, you know, what's it worth? If you want to insure your card, what's it worth? That sort of data, you know, the price is very important. And right now, our pricing on PSA, we get a lot of, I'd say, negative feedback. It's, uh, you know, APR, it's, it's really just sales data. Uh, but a lot of cards don't have great sales data. Or it's uh, what we call SMR, which is manual. I'm actually updating that on, like, personally, uh, you know, on, like, a weekly or monthly basis. That's what you see in our magazine. And it works for vintage, you know, where prices don't fluctuate a lot. Uh, but it doesn't really work for modern. And so we get a lot of feedback. Like, when you log into PSA, people want to know what their collection's worth. Um, so, you know, and, and then we get a lot of feedback. They want to track their other slabs, not just PSA slabs. Um, so that we've heard that feedback loud and clear and, you know, with, with your platform and you guys, we're going to open up the ability to, you know, track your collection much, much broader than just PSA. So we, we're not the whole world. So <laughs> That's great. Josh, did you have a question there? No, I just, uh, you know, just, I think we'll probably have a lot of questions just around like how the two are going to be you know, merge together or are they going to be separate? So if we want to like jump into specific questions, we can start to attack them. Yeah. So um, we've gotten a few questions already about if people are PSA club members, does that enable them to log into card ladder? If they're card ladder members, does that enable them to do the opposite to log into PSA? So what can we say about, and obviously, um, you know, this is a brand new thing. So things take time and plans get made and, but but what can we say about about the about the cross logging in? Yeah, so we're building uh, what we call like a collectors. Collectors is our company name. Uh, collectors passport, if you will, and so you'd be able to log in to um, PSA and to PCGS and to what I'm wearing a what a sweatshirt um, into Card Ladder, into Collectors.com, into you know so on, whatever properties we own with that login and your subscriptions are tied to it. So, you know, we have a PSA subscription a cl called collector's club. We have one for coins as well. We've got multiple levels of both, you know, we've got different, different things. And, and um, you know, we should talk about it more, but I mean, one of the things we, we like about this uh, partnership and acquisition is it definitely provides more uh, tools to PSA collector's club members. And so I think, you know, it, these things don't happen overnight. I mean, Josh as an engineer knows this better than any of us on the phone. Uh, but, you know, we got to we got to definitely work on an integration plan for our users and for your 
uh, subscribers that allows dual access. But I think certainly part of the plan is going to be to include uh, card ladder features, uh, card ladder into collector's club. I just don't know on the timing of it. We've, we've got a lot of stuff to do, as you know. Yeah, and just like on the very immediate front, everything is, is the same on card ladder. You still sign in the same. You still log in the same. And then everything PSA and collector's universe is still separate. You know, this is this is like a day old, so we obviously need time to like code this kind of stuff. So everything's the same right now. Um, and if you want to check out, if you're new to the card ladder space and you haven't seen it before and you're coming from PSA, check out the site. We have some, like a free portion of it. You just go to cardladder.com if you want to check it out. And then the paid is $15 a month. And then obviously, you know, to your point, Nat, we'll, we'll eventually start to work in, you know, um, some cross-pollination stuff there and, and allow people to, to jump back and forth. We just don't have any of that uh, yeah. moved right now. Right now. And the pricing is going to stay the same. I got a lot of questions about is the price going to go up? No, it's not. Yeah. Now, um, a few questions have come in uh, to this chat and before this live about um, – expanding the card letter team. Uh, so what can we say right now about building out and scaling the card letter database? Yeah, I mean, I told, uh, I know Chris, you couldn't make it last week, but, or that's actually, was it this week? Wow, time time uh, seems seems like time's moving uh, fast. But um, we, uh, we told Josh, you know, from an engineering perspective, go nuts, you know, hire as many engineers, PMs that we can find, product managers that we can find that want to work on this product, uh, you know, card ladder and pricing and, and research and browsing marketplace style features. And so, I mean, you can say it's unlimited, but obviously that in practice, you can't hire. It's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to find folks. So we're absolutely hiring uh, the team. We want to grow quickly. I think the same for, the non-engineering roles. So folks, you know, Chris, I know this, you know, you do a lot of this work, you know, create, you know, building car, you know, adding new cards, you know, cur curating the actual sales data, just kind of being the steward of the system. You know, we're going to expand that team. You know, I should mention, you know, a really big uh, goal of ours at PSA is to expand the coverage of card ladder. Um, you know, I, I forget how many cards you have now, 16,000, 18,000, something like that. I mean, we, you know, uh, for better or for worse, you know, there are a lot more cards than that in the, in the world. Um, and so, you know, we want, when you log into your inventory system on our platform to get a complete price that, that represents your entire collection or as much of your collection as possible. Uh, and so I think that's something that will require more staff, uh, you know, to, to, you know, build that coverage. Um, so yeah, kind of wide open on the, on the hiring end for a card ladder for sure. Nice. Yeah. And on the on the tech side, um, you know, I've already been talking with some of the technical people at PSA, and we're and Chris and I have been working on a, a way to sort of automate some of the pieces of adding adding cards. So we're going to ramp up the tech side, and then we'll also use that to our to our advantage to ramp up and properly scale, you know, the employee manual side. So the two will kind of come together hopefully nicely soon, and um, and at that point also we're going to start to be able to work on developing prices for cards that technically aren't in our ladder you know that's kind of what the sales history is about as well we're rolling we rolled that out today as like a you know kind of a, a preview of what what that is going to be like so i think you know we're going to we're eventually going to have a world where all the cards are going to have prices next to them that's the goal and then the whole point of card ladder really is that the cards that we do have in our system are very very curated and and very accurate so we're going to continue down that path and we want to make sure that the cards we add and that we curate over time continue to have that high standard yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's well said, Josh. Um, are, are there any other things we'd like to touch on with respect to the card ladder and collectors? Uh, well, we just got a. I just saw a question. Uh, someone asked, "Is it going to be integrated with Set Registry?" The answer is definitely yes. I mean, Josh, you and I were talking about this on Monday. You know, when you log into the Set Registry today, uh, a bunch of things. You know, if you want to find a card, you know, the agnostic I just mentioned before, the agnostic marketplace browsing, you know, across platforms. Uh, so you don't have to go through all the different, you know, there's more and more places to buy cards, which is awesome, but, you know, it makes it harder, uh, you know, to know where to go. And, you know, you don't have eight browser tabs open at all times. Um, so that, and then pricing. Yeah. If, if you want to know what your sets are worth, what the cards are worth that you need, uh, you know, if you have dupes of a card in a set, you want to sell that, you know, all that kind of integration with card ladder is a no brainer. 
Yeah, that's yeah, the, uh, the collection portfolio management, however you want to call that. That's kind of like, that's what we talked about on Monday, kind of being the long play. And that's going to take some time, but I think there's a lot of cool integrations we can do with set registry and, you know, even going into like WADA and coins and stuff. There's a lot of cool things. Yeah, yes. let's get cards right first. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, and a lot of people have asked us, uh, what, what happens to the current card letter team? Uh, are Josh and Christina, Nick, Cole, myself, what are we doing? So who wants to take that one? They think we're retiring to a beach, Matt. Yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> I, I, I uh, would be very disappointed if you guys went anywhere, so please don't. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I was joking with Josh, you know, we, we should have had a clause in there, you know, like, you know, the money you guys got, I you know, can only be used on – cards or like PSA, PSA grading fees or, you know, it should have, it should have, it should have been in like vouchers or, you know, keep you, keep, keep you here. But, yeah. You know, well, yeah. Hopefully you guys get more sleep. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. The irony is that's probably exactly what's going to happen anyway. Um, right. You don't have to write that down. We're going to do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, just to speak to that for a moment, um, we're going to continue to operate card letters exactly as we did before, uh, except now the, the future is even brighter and now we're teamed up with the absolute powerhouse of the sports card industry so i this is the most exciting part of this whole thing for me is the, what the future holds for card ladder and to the extent that we can contribute and make collectors a better place uh that's that's an amazing opportunity so we're very excited this is leveling up in in the best way you could possibly level up josh you want to add anything onto there um no, I think you said it well. I mean, really, I know Nat will agree is that with with this is that, um, you know, this is ultimately about growing the hobby and the three of us stand to benefit pretty greatly by just the, the hobby growing overall. Like I know we obviously want to grow collectors and card letter and make these all great, but we also want to serve, you know, all these customers and all these people that are in the hobby and new to the hobby. So this stuff is just, uh, it'll just keep, you know, one big circle round and round. It's just going to keep getting better. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, Matt, while we've got you, a lot of people ask me, okay, so Collector's Universe keeps making these big plays, you know, whether it was WADA or Card Ladder. And, you know, Collector's Universe at this time is, is just an absolute conglomerate. Um, can you say anything about the future plans that Collector's Universe has or, or just maybe a peek into what 2022 might look like for, for the hobbyists out there wondering? Yeah, I mean, we're so... I would say one thing we're doing is, you know, we, we kind of refer to our company as collectors. So we're kind of moving away from this collector's universe concept because collector's universe really was the prior public company that, that just owned PSA and, and uh, PCGS, the coin, coin grading. But as you said, you know, we've got other things now. We've got uh, video game grading and pop, pop culture grading, I would, I would say. We've got, you know, card ladder you know, we also acquired Golden. You know, we've got a number of companies now. And so really it's a, a holding company. So Collectors is the like, kind of the holding company, if you will. But, and, you know, as far as 2022, I mean, honestly, our biggest focus is on expanding capacity at PSA to reopen our service levels at more affordable prices. Um, I'd be lying if I said that's not our top five goals are related to that. I mean, it's true. We're, you know, that's all we talk about. Um, you know, I get, I still get 50 plus direct messages a day and in, in Instagram, you know, so, some quite angry, like this is completely bullshit. Why, you know, how is this taking nine months? And I, you know, I just, I literally, my new response, I just send them to the careers page of PSA, um, you know, more than welcome to come help us. Um, <laughs> you know, we can't move any faster than, than, you know, the kind of flow and steady growth because, you know, we're so concerned with quality. So, uh, a lot of technology innovation in 2022, you know, as far as we're concerned, um, you know, grading innovation, you know, stuff like Genement to automate parts of the process and make uh, human graders more efficient, uh, but more importantly, uh, more consistent and accurate. Not that they're not today, but uh, I think we're really good at that at PSA, but we just don't want to take any risks with counter, you know, we see counterfeits every minute of the day uh, and technology is frankly pretty well suited to help the team. Uh, and those sorts of areas, um, yeah, and alterations too. But that's really 2022. It's very much capacity expansion. We're opening new offices. You know, we've, we've got Jersey City coming online. 
probably towards the end of the year. Um, we've got a, a couple of cool, exciting new offerings in PSA that I, I can't talk about that you guys may know about. Um, one, hopefully, we'll announce in January. Um, but yeah, that's that's a, and that's for us. You know, hobby wise, I'm super interested to see what goes down with Fanatics and card manufacturing. Uh, as a big collector myself, you know, I'm I'm more into the older stuff, '90s and before. But you know, I really I do I do enjoy opening cards and stuff still. So. I do it all the time and, you know, I have my beef with the current card company. So ch change is always good. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I welcome it. I, I, I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Um, but that's going to be big. I think we're going to see a lot of, you know, things happen on the kind of manufacturing side of the house next year. Um, but yeah. That's terrific. Um, all right, Josh, do you, I, I've, I've exhausted my list of questions. Do you have any topics or questions you want to go over? I'm trying to think of other like obvious ones and I think we've hit them all, you know, like I echo what Nat said. I think the tech stuff is going to be huge. So I'm, I'm already like thinking, how can, how can we help, you know, how can the valuation stuff help as we keep growing, getting more sales data and aggregating it better. How can we actually like improve the processes of grading cards faster? Like these are all challenges. I think that all this stuff can help. So, you know, I'm excited to help answer DMS about why my cards aren't graded yet either. So bring them on. I mean, dude, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I've told a few people that's like, I literally, my office, my, I, my desk is in the PSA grading room. And, you know, I was sitting there like straight up, like grading cards today. I mean, I'm not the, an official grader, but you know, I know a lot of the nineties cards really well. And, you know, I'm looking at cards and giving opinions and making decisions on the big cards. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting, but you guys will see when you come here in, in a couple of weeks, like, you know, we've got cards everywhere. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> so we, God. we might, we might turn you into grader <laughs> for, <laughs> for like six months. <laughs> Man, talk about all hands on deck. Is yeah, it is. I mean, we're, we're adding a few every week. I mean, it's, it's growing a ton. I mean, we've doubled grading since we bought the company in February. Um, so that's, that, that wasn't so long ago. That was eight months ago. We've doubled it in eight months. So. Doubling employees is like an extremely difficult thing. I've worked at enough companies to know that hiring is the most difficult process in growing up. Business, so. for, for us, the, the hiring's not the hard part. The hard part's the training. Yeah. You know, to be a grader, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of skill and, uh, soft skills, you know, like, uh, you know, you gotta be confident. You gotta be good at attention to detail. You know, there's a lot of like innate personality things you gotta have. And then on top of that, you know, you gotta have the technical skills, uh, you know, and, and the, frankly, the institutional knowledge of, you know, Hey, what does the 1953 tops card stock feel like? Um, you know, it's, what do the edges look like? I mean, you only get that through through time uh, and training. So yeah, that's our biggest thing. We've actually got a whole university program now internally. Uh, any employees welcome. You know, we've got tests you can take. We're actually probably going to put you through this. You know, we've got we've got tests for internal employees. You can at any point in time, you know, raise your hand and go test, take a test to you know be a grader. Uh, you got it's more than that. You you pass the test, you can then get into the training program. Um, but yeah, it's it's we got a lot of work cut out for us, but we're we're making a lot of progress. That is amazing. Uh, what happens if you have to take the test more than once? Does that really add? We allow it. We allow it. Um, you know, we've got classes internally and um, labs and all sorts of things that you know can make you better of a card grader. Um, you know, the the test is designed to be difficult. It's like a you know, driving test or flying test, you're not supposed to pass it without studying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's, it's meant to be testing. So you're, you can take it multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Takes a little bit of pressure off on the test. Okay. So yeah. what if there's people out there, people in this chat right now who would like to apply, how, what would be the way to do that? Yeah. It's psacard.com slash careers. I believe uh, it's on the, it's on the bottom footer of every page. Um, if I have that wrong, maybe Josh or Chris can correct me, but I think that's right. Um, yeah. And we've got a lot of open roles. I, I forget how many, but it's, it's, it's a ton. Yeah. If you scroll, yeah, there you go. You found it. Um, so if you scroll down, you'll see the, yeah, culture. Yeah. 
Um, so we've got a bunch of open positions. Graders is grading is obviously one of them. Um, yeah, there you go. Open roles. Software engineering. You're going to see a lot of engineering and product management roles. There's grading right there. So grading right now is just in California. Um, for PSA, but but pretty soon we're going to have open positions for grading on the East Coast in, in New Jersey. Uh, we're actually going to have have an a international uh, grading site as well soon that I'll, we'll announce soon. Wow. Yeah, you can see a lot of roles. Yeah, wow. Well, I didn't even know this. <laughs> yeah, you had it right. It's slash careers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot. And by the way, if you want to be a grader, I mean, we, you know, you can take the test. Uh, you know, we've got We've got, uh, I'd say it's about half and half. Most of our graders' interviews, um, you know, are, I would, no, excuse me, half of them are, are uh, I would just call like off the street. You know, they don't work here. They're, you know, folks that apply. And then the other half are internal employees uh, that, you know, came in through receiving or research or some other position and and want an opportunity to, you know, grow their uh, grow their career. And, you know, grading is a great way to do that. And, um you know, it's a pretty, very highly paid job as far as, uh, you know, PSA goes, uh, collectors goes, excuse me. So. Chris, what about uh, the content? People might ask about crossover and SEC. Do we have anything to say about that? They will continue in earnest, as, as, as is, and uh, maybe a couple more special appearances from Nat every now and again, uh, but otherwise continuing as is. And, uh, you know, we, Josh, we love doing the content. That's that's one of the most fun parts about our job. So um, maybe you'll even get more content from us. I don't know. Definitely not less. We had to ask them, are we still allowed to do our shows? <laughs> you, I don't remember you asking that. They were, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. But we, we, we uh, do more of them. I mean, we, the hobby needs more content, needs more card people sharing their knowledge. So, yeah, yeah. Totally. definitely right. Well, Matt. We want you to feel better, man. And, uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I just need to need to give it a couple of days. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's crazy. Okay, well, look, I mean, I, I, this has gone for 30 minutes. I think we touched a lot of stuff we're going to touch. We're still doing our regular crossover tomorrow night at the normal time, 11 p.m. Eastern. So uh, thanks. Thanks to collectors. Thanks to the hobby community. Thanks to Nat. Thanks to the great team at Car Ladder, Josh, Nick, Christina, and Cole. Uh, this is this is a pretty special day, so that that'll do it for me, and then I'll pass it to Josh and then to Nat for any final thoughts. Yeah, we're. Uh, I mean, if you know anything about me, you know I'm, I'm all about hard work, so we're ready to, to get moving and start building stuff and making things better. I'm already, you know, in the internal chats trying to see where I can make improvements. So we're ready to go, man. I uh, excited about everything. Obviously, today's been fun, and it's a, it's been a fun celebration. We're excited to join collectors, but I'm ready to get to work. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. Welcome to the team. You know, we're, we're pumped. We've got a lot of work to do. Um, bring the feedback on, you know, folks in the hobby. I, I mean, I answer every DM. I'm sure the guys do too. If you, if you have ideas, feedback, you know, whatever, keep it coming. So. Right on. All right. That'll do it for the special Thursday crossover. Nat, Josh. Thanks guys. See everybody else tomorrow night. Yeah. Card Ladder, the best sports card app on the market. The future of sports cards is here. Card Ladder is the 21st century price guide and market analysis tool for sports cards. The best tools to help you track your cards. Watch the trends, stay informed, compare cards, and track the growth of your personal collection. All in one simple and intuitive platform. Join the innovators, not the imitators. The future is here. The future is now. Hard Ladder.